Hi, magandang umaga. Ako si Charles. Are you trying to learn how to construct simple sentence in Tagalog? Join me in this video as we discuss how to properly create these simple sentences in Tagalog. Let's hop in. Today, I'm going to teach you how to construct simple uh, sentence in Tagalog uh, using the ang markers. Ang markers are the subject of the sentence markers. When we say subject, this is the topic of the sentence or the one that we're talking about or the one who's doing the action. There are four uh, ang markers. Those are si, ang, sina, at ang mga. Okay, what do we mark the singular? means only one personal names that is c okay uh, let's talk about personal names first personal names are names that refer to specific persons animals cartoon characters or anything with a personality such example so i'm gonna say my name c charles charles is my personal name right that is for person so that's only one so i could say c charles but uh, personal names uh, does not limit to persons only. It could be a specific name for animals. Like I have a cat. My cat's name is Minty. So I could say C. Minty. Another example, a cartoon character. Let us say Mickey Mouse. So I could say C. Mickey Mouse. Okay. So those are specific names of a person, animals, and cartoon characters. And we use C for that one. Okay. Now, how about for all others or generic names, common names? We use ang for that one. Okay, so what's the common name for a person, Charles? So uh, let's say I'm a man, so I'm going to say lalaki, ang lalaki. Lalaki means a boy, man, or male, that's only lalaki. So I could say ang lalaki. How about for minti? Minti is a cat. So what's a common name for that? I could say, ang pusa. Pusa is a cat, okay, in Tagalog. So I could say, ang pusa. How about Mickey Mouse? Mickey Mouse is a mouse, so that would be daga in Tagalog. So I could say, ang daga. So that's the difference of si and ang. Si is for specific personal names, and ang is for common names, all others, okay? Now, to make them plural, okay, so we change si into sina. Say, sina Charles, at, at means and. At uh, Mira, so I've got two personal names, plural, so I'm going to use Sina, Sina Charles at Mira. Let's say I have a cat called Minty, and I have a dog uh, named Brownie, so I could say Sina Minty at uh, Brownie. That's how it works, okay, for two or more personal names as a subject. Now, for the for all others, plural, you just simply add mga to that one, okay? Mga is the pluralizer in Tagalog. In English, we add S, E, S, uh, I, E, S to make a noun plural. But in Tagalog, it's just so simple. We just add mga to make our noun plural. Be, uh, this should be before the noun, okay? So I could say, ang mga lalaki. What would that mean? That means the man, right? Man, plural. I could say, ang mga pusa. That would be the cats. And ang mga daga, that would be the... Um, mice, yeah? That would be our plural subject. So then again, C is for personal name singular, ang is for all others singular, sina for plural personal names, and ang with mga to make our noun plural for all others. That's the difference of the ang markers. Now to understand this one better, let us look at some examples. Here are the example. Okay, I've got in here my simple sentence, the small man is angry. Okay, so what is our subject? Our subject is the small man. That is a, a phrasal subject, but our specific subject is the man, right? So I've got my linking verb is and my predicate angry. Now, how do I translate that one in uh, Tagalog? Of course, I have to translate my uh, phrasal subject first. I would say small is maliit. And then a um, uh, man is tao or a person, okay? So I would say maliit tao, but that does, that uh, in Tagalog, it doesn't work like that. We need a connector between describing words and, and the noun. So we could get to discuss that one in a separate lesson. So I could say maliit na tao. Na is my connector for that one. So this is my phrasal subject, small man. Now, what do I mark my subject? Is it si, sina? 
ang ang mga. So I have to look at if my subject is a specific or non-specific, singular or plural. So this one is a generic uh, name or a common name, man, singular. So that means I'm gonna put ang before my phrase or subject. So I'm gonna say ang ang maliit na tao. That would be my subject, as you see in here. Okay. Now. Is in here could be translated into I. So I'm going to say I. Ang maliit na tao ay. The small man is. And then angry is translated as galit in Tagalog. So my sentence would be, Ang maliit na tao ay galit. So ang in here marks our subject, maliit na tao, which is a common name, singular. Okay? Now, uh, in Tagalog, uh, in English, the usual sentence always starts uh, with the subject and then the predicate. Right? But in Tagalog, we could invert that one. We could start with a predicate. So I could say galit. And then uh, the subject, ang maliit na tao. In this case, I would not need uh, to use I. Okay? So let us look at our sentence pattern. In this one, we've got the subject. And then the linking verb I. And then the predicate, galit. The SIP pattern. So I've got subject. I and predicate pattern. So I could say that. Or I could say the predicate first and then the subject pattern. So that would be my PS pattern. That is the two sentence patterns that we have in simple sentence uh, construction. So what's the difference of this sentence pattern? This one, uh, SIP, is commonly used in a formal setting or in uh, like at school writing, in books, or in a formal speech, while the PS pattern pattern is normally used in conversation. So in a daily, day-to-day -day, uh, life conversation, we normally say it in a predicate sentence uh, construction, which is uh, totally different in English. Okay. Now, uh, I've, uh, before we proceed, let's talk about uh, this specific I. We call this one an inverter. Okay. Uh, let's talk about that one. Note, in sentence making, we use I which could be directly translated as am, is, are, was, or where. Uh, that should be the linking verbs in English. Uh, if, okay, we start the sentence with a subject. So we only use I if we start the sentence uh, with a subject. And we don't use it if we start with a predicate or comment. So that's our sentence pattern, S-I-P and the P-S pattern, right? Yep. So example to that one again is the man is happy, my subject is the man, and is is our linking verb, and uh, happy is the predicate. So I'm going to say the man. Man is a common name, so I'm going to mark it with ang. So I've got ang tao. And then since I started with my subject, so I'm going to add I after that, right next to that, and then I would add my predicate, my comment, okay? So ang tao ay masaya. Otherwise, in the normal conversation setting, I would start with a predicate masaya and then my subject ang tao. That's the normal sentence pattern in Tagalog, okay? When you are speaking in conversation. Now, let's uh, continue with our uh, other examples. I've got in here, Anna is happy. So, my subject is Anna. And then I've got a linking verb and the, my comment is happy. So, if I, if I follow the SIP pattern, okay? So uh, what do I mark Anna? Anna is a specific personal name singular, so I have to mark Anna as C. So I have to say C, Anna. Since I started with my subject, I have to add I, and then happy is masaya. Anna is happy, C, Anna, I, masaya. Or I could say the predicate subject pattern, I would say masaya, C, Anna. Okay? Now, another example, Ben and Tom are surprised. What's my subject? I've got Ben and Tom. Ben and Tom uh, is my subject, so I've got two specific personal names. What do I mark them? I have to mark them with Sina, okay? So I'm going to say Sina, Ben, at, Tom. At means and. So I'm going to add my uh, I since I started with the subject. And surprise uh, means nagulat in Tagalog, okay? And then I could say it in the PS pattern, predicate subject pattern, nagulat, and then Sina, Sina, uh, Sina Ben, at Tom. And last example I've got in here, the animals are scared. When we translate animals in Tagalog, that would be animal in Tagalog, that would be hayop. If I'm going to make it plural, I'm, I have to add mga before it. So I've got mga hayop. Okay, that would be refer to the animals. Now, animal is a common name, not specific name. 
So, what do I mark that one? I have to mark with ang. So, I've got my subject, ang mga hayop. So, as you can see in here, ang mga hayop, and then I have to add my I, and then scared is takot. Okay? Ang mga hayop ay takot. The animals are scared. Or the other way around, I could start with takot, and then my subject, ang mga hayop. Takot ang mga hayop, that would mean uh, the same, the animals are scared. So that is how you construct a simple sentence. All you need to remember is the markers, ang, si, sina, or the ang mga. And then don't forget your I if you start with the subject. Otherwise, uh, you invert it without using I in the normal conversation setting. All right, so I hope that is clear. If that is clear, let us uh, have an activity time, okay? So in here, you have to write si, sina, ang o ang mga or ang mga sapat lang. It would be the blank. Panuto means direction. Isulat means right. So write the markers in the blank. So number one, what is my subject? It is nene. That is a specific personal name, singular. So I have to mark it with, yeah, that's right. Si. Si nene. Si nene ay masaya. That would mean nene is happy. Masaya means happy. Okay. So for number two, my subject is bata. That is a, that means kid. That's a uh, common name. It's not a specific one, singular, right? So what should I mark it? Yep, that is right. It is ang. Ang bata ay malungkot. Malungkot in here means sad. So that means the kid is sad. Okay. Next, number three. What's my subject? Nene at Nena. Nene and Nena, two personal names, specific name. So what should I mark? That should be, yes, that's right, Sina. Sina Nene at Nena ay nagulat. Okay, nagulat means surprise. Okay, next, number four, Galit. Galit, and then I've got in here my subject. Galit means anger. That should be the predicate pattern. So I've got matandang babae as my subject. So matanda means old, and then babae is woman. So that would be old uh, woman or old lady. What do I mark that one? That's a common name, singular. Yes. Uh, so that would be ang, right? Thank you. And lastly, takot. Blank, lalaki. Takot means scared. Lalaki in here, it says men. So I have to make that one plural. How men is, a lalaki is man singular. So I have to mark it plural. So how do I do that? I just have to add mga, right? So I would say mga lalaki to refer to men. But what is my marker for that? Yep, that should be ang. Sige, ang mga, right? That would refer to men. So, that would mean takot ang mga lalaki, uh, scared are the men, or the men are scared. Right, so thank you so much. Uh, you've done great in answering this one. Congratulations for understanding your uh, ang marker si, sina, ang, or ang mga. So, uh, the next activities, you could have next activities in uh, the next lesson, so we could do them together, but that would be in a separate uh, video. I'll see you again. Maraming salamat. Uh, hanggang sumuli. Paalam.